My name is Alex Schubert. I teach 7th grade life science at Elizabethtown Middle School. Teachers have the ability to take a child that may not see their true worth or their place in the world and help them find that. There are 30 sets of eyes on me and it's really important for me to do a good job because I want students to learn from me and I want to be a great role model for them. My name is Holly Particelli. I teach 8th grade physical science. LDC, or Literacy Design Collaborative, is a wonderful framework for me because it allows me to teach literacy in a subject like science. A lot of high school teachers and college professors of science are having problems with students being able to read the science materials, and I felt, boy, I, I really want to help eliminate that problem. The beauty of the LDC is that they're already aligned to the Common Core, so whether I know them or not, I mean, they're going to work. Agenda's out, ready to go, need a pencil. The Common Core standards are still very new to me, but using LDC makes it very easy to incorporate them into what you're doing in your science classes. It's all there for you. It's a, it's a guide. It's a step ladder for you. LDC is a, is a collaboration of teachers working together and we're implementing a series of strategies to help students better their writing. The teachers are actually helping shape the framework for this and people are listening to teachers and what they have to say. I work closely with a colleague of mine that teaches science. We had the luxury of bouncing ideas about what to teach off each other and then we also work very closely with reading specialists in the building. They've really helped me with how to write a rough draft, text structure, what to look for in order to have a great essay. As a result of utilizing LDC in my classroom, we've actually analyzed poetry and identified science terminology throughout that. We've read stories, we've read science articles. We're teaching uh, the zoos module, where students take a stance on whether they are pro-zoo or anti-zoo. Uh, and then they'll defend that within their essay. This is a big step for many kids because they're choosing a stance and then defending it with actual evidence that they've read. They know inside themselves that they have written something, they have accomplished something that they didn't realize they were able to do. In the past, I shortchanged students thinking that they couldn't do that material or write a multi-paragraph essay, and I found out that they do a wonderful job, and just seeing their expressions and their happiness makes me feel very rewarded.